<sighs> so 2021 was a big year and 2022 i just feel it in my bones it's going to be even bigger. So this video is going to be a business edition of my 2021 reflections and 2022 goals. If you are looking for a more personal take on the topic, go visit my main channel, Comfy Girl Curls. So let's open up by talking about some of the things that I achieved that honestly weren't even goals because I couldn't have fathomed achieving them. So in 2020, I shared that I made $10,000 as a micro-influencer and going into 2021, I set a goal of $40,000. And for me, that was a big scary goal but I thought you know what let's try and it was actually a friend of mine Casey Palmer who on Clubhouse when I said my big scary goal was like make 60,000 60,000 make that your goal and I never officially changed my goal but the number 60,000 really stuck in my head but as many of you know I blew that number out of the water and I hit $70,000 last year and I'm starting to feel a little silly repeating it but I know based on my views for YouTube that I have a lot of people watching that aren't subscribed to me and perhaps haven't seen my content before. I feel like in a lot of people's eyes that information adds a little bit of credibility too when they're like, why should I watch this content creation channel? She has like no subscribers. So my income for last year is definitely my most like talked about achievement, but I wouldn't say it's the thing that I am most proud of. Of course, I am incredibly proud and grateful to have made that much money, but there are a couple other things that happened last year that I am incredibly proud of too. So number one, I was chosen to be one of 10 founding members of Pinterest Canada's class of 2021 creators. And I just am blown away by that. I had already worked with Pinterest a bit in the past. I talked at one of their virtual events where I did a bit of a fireside chat, just talking about how I use Pinterest and sharing some of my tips. I have created content for them in the past, but being able to work with them in this capacity and to have been chosen to be a founding member of this program was just beyond words exciting to me. And honestly, I love Pinterest so much. Working with them is so much fun. Their team is just so kind and so amazing and the platform itself has helped me grow my blog in ways that no other platform has been able to do and on that note if you want pinterest tips make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because i have a whole series on pinterest plan so another thing that happened in 2021 was i signed my very first five-figure contract and that's just mind-blowing that i made my entire 2020 income in a single brand deal like you guys, I just, I just, gratitude is just the word that I've been holding on to so much. And I mentioned this in my like personal reflections video, but it is not lost on me how incredible and lucky and privileged I am to be able to make money from working with brands and doing what I love and taking pictures and videos and all that. The Kea that started blogging six years ago could have never, ever, ever imagined. So on the topic of all of this income, 2021 was also the year that I decided I would eventually go create content full time. And I will never forget in 2019, I was sitting with my friend Sarah, we were having coffee and she was saying, would you ever take content creation full time? Like just go all in. And at that time I was like, no, I can't, I can't see it. Not because I didn't like it, but because at that time I think I had had a brand deal for like 75 bucks and that was it. That's like the most money I had ever made from it. But she is really the one that encouraged me to go for it. And part of this discussion was I was pretty all in with writing at the time. I've always wanted to be an author. I love writing young adult fiction, just putting that out there. And she had said to me, you know, writing will always be here. There is this sort of perception that you can only be a successful writer if you get in young, but that is not the truth. But the reality is with influencing, there is a bit of an expiry date, especially as a woman. But I digress. If you want to go support the person who pushed me to continue on this content creation journey and then as a domino effect helped me create content to help other creators, go check out Sarah Suk. She is the author of Made in Korea. If you like young adult rom-coms, go check it out. Back to the topic of quitting my job. Around September of 2021, all of these opportunities were starting to pick up steam and I started to realize how to really monetize what I was doing. I basically told my boss that I was 
wasn't going to be around for that much longer. And I know some people laugh at me when they're like, oh, okay, so you put in your two weeks, you put in your two months. No, I gave like a six month to eight month to maybe 10 month notice. Yeah, the, the timeline of the when is really up in the air right now. So part of me planning to eventually go full time was starting to think about my finances a bit differently. And what that meant was in anticipation of only having one income, I had to stop spending as much on my business. And so I made 2021 the year of investing in equipment, all of my business write-offs and everything, so that there wouldn't really be anything that I needed for this year. And so I honestly invested in a lot of gear. I had got my camera and one lens at the end of 2020 and in 2021 I bought three more lenses. I got a 50 millimeter lens, an 85 millimeter lens, and a zoom lens, a 24 to 240 millimeter, so that I could travel in Ghana and not have to switch my lenses on and off, all of which were great, great, great investments. And then at the end of 2021, I actually got myself an iPad, which I am obsessed with. It has helped so much with productivity. Investing in gear in 2021 was actually a goal of mine and that goal was um, well achieved. So another achievement of 2021 that could have never even been a goal because I couldn't have fathomed it was getting in touch with Google. I was able to do a creator spotlight interview which was posted on the Google for Creators YouTube channel and in that video I talk about how to generate passive income through product reviews so if you're interested in that I will link it below. And out of that relationship I had the absolute honor of traveling to Abu Dhabi to VidCon Abu Dhabi with the Google for Creators team and co-speaking with them giving a presentation and like, I was able to bring Darren as my assistant. He did a fantastic job. And it was just so cool to be in a space where people take what you do seriously and they see the value in it. And I'm just still so grateful that they chose me or wanted to go with me because there's just so many creators out there and just so many people with great information to bring to the table. So let's jump to some 2021 goals that I did not achieve. First being monetizing my YouTube channel. I launched my Comfy Girl Curls YouTube channel at the beginning of 2021 and I was like, I'm gonna be so consistent and we're gonna get monetized by the end of the year and that, that did not happen. I got so overwhelmed with all the sponsored content that I was doing last year and I was just so busy that YouTube became a lower priority. I just sort of posted as brand deals needed and I think I ended the year with like 300 subscribers and it kicked up to about like 700 because of that TikTok video that went viral. But. Another goal that I failed at was pumping out blog posts the way I wanted to. Same sort of thing where Instagram content, because that's where a lot of the brand deals were, and Pinterest content really took priority for me. My goal last year was 29 blog posts and I hit 21. It's not the worst, it's just that 29 was a really conservative number. Like I eventually want to be pumping out blog posts like weekly. Another thing that I failed at was pumping life into my Black Bloggers Support Group. I have a Facebook group and I started that a long time ago just as a way to, you know, support the community and to have black content creators connect with each other, share their best tips and practices. And I really wanted last year to put a lot of time and effort into making this a valuable place. But again, time, just not enough of it. So here's to reattempting in 2022. Overall, the goals that I didn't achieve really had to do with the increase I saw in paid content, which I'm incredibly grateful for and like I said, didn't anticipate, but I really hope to be able to find a bit of a balance in 2022. Now let's look at 2022 goals. So a huge thing for me is to learn how to better use my gear. So I invested in all of this awesome, relatively expensive gear. Now I want to learn how to use it. And I think I'm, I'm starting to get there. Like this video, I mean, it's not the best, the sun's changed and everything, but this video and all of the videos I have filmed on this channel so far are using my Canon RP and my 35 millimeter lens. And it is the same exact setup that I used at the start of 2021, but look at the quality difference. 
Like I had no idea what I was doing with lighting then. And I'm not saying I'm there now, but I have learned a lot and I just cannot wait to continue learning, improving. Another thing that I wanna do this year is just up the ante with collaborating and partnering with friends and people in my community. I feel like collaboration is very prevalent in other content creating spaces, but in like the black community, not as much. And in like the beauty, lifestyle, natural hair space, I don't really see people collaborating with each other. Maybe I'm missing something, but either way, that's something that I really wanna start doing this year. Another huge goal of 2022 is to build up and diversify my income streams. So for the most part last year, my income came through brand partnerships. In 2022, I really wanna build out that affiliate income and ad revenue, just so that I have more of a cushion and a bit of predictability in my income. I do eventually also want to expand into some digital products, whether that's like eBooks, whether that's course development. I would love to be able to have like my knowledge and the content that I've created actually work for me for the long term. And on top of that, some of the other things that are coming to mind, I wanna start pitching brands. I wanna be a bit more intentional on that front. I feel so fortunate that I haven't had to pitch brands. I actually have a whole YouTube video on attracting brands so that you don't have to pitch, but it really is the only way to have full control over your income, over what you do. And last but not least, in terms of my big goals that I'm really thinking of, I would just love to be more organized. I've started using Notion and I am still loving it because I used Trello for a while. I got really pumped up about it and it just didn't stick. I plugged in all the information, but I wasn't using it actively. Whereas Notion, I keep it up almost 24 seven. I throw every idea in there. It is the hub of absolutely everything. So I just want to end on a few rapid fire measurable goals. I have actually got my notion board here where I wrote them down. So I would like to post in 2022 30 blog posts, upload 25 YouTube videos to Comfy Girl Curls, 50 YouTube videos on Creating with Kea, this channel, and I would like to hit six figures business income. Let's see if we can do it. And that is all she wrote. Thank you guys so much. If you made it to the end, let me know. I am so curious to see, you know, who is still watching. But all I can say is that I am just incredibly excited about 2022. Last year just left me feeling so grateful. So I'm hoping that that really continues for this year. You guys know the drill, but if you enjoyed this video, want to see more from me, all that jazz, do hit the thumbs up button, give it a subscribe. And if you want content creating tips and don't want to miss any future ones, make sure you turn on notifications. Until next time, hello. No, okay, no, you can you can stay if you're not making noises. You're gonna knock off all my jewelry. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. There goes all my stuff. Okay, where was I?